My name is Nate from Kilovolt, and today I will be showing you how to properly program your Schneider XW or XW Pro inverter for your Kilovolt Hab battery. Keep in mind that the Kilovolt Hab now supports closed loop communication with the XW Pro inverter only. In this video, I will be showing you how to do the setup manually, assuming closed loop control is not enabled. You will start by connecting the Schneider Insight Home Gateway, or facility, to the Zanbus network following the instructions in the Insight Manual. When the light on the top of the unit has switched from a flashing orange to a solid green, you can open the Network Settings page on your computer and connect to the Insight's Wi-Fi access point, which should begin with Insight Home underscore and then a series of numbers and letters. Please note that this process can be done using the Insight Local Connect, meaning that no internet connection is required for the setup process. You can then enter the network password, which is printed on the back side of the Insight Home or facility. Once you have successfully connected to the Insight Home, open a web browser and go to the IP address shown in the Insight Manual. You will use admin as the username and admin123 as the password, at which point you will be prompted to set your own password, which I had already done prior to this video. Once your Insight dashboard is open, click on Devices and then on the XW Plus or Pro Inverter. You will then navigate to the Configuration tab and select Advanced Settings. Under Charger Settings, Recharge Voltage can be set to 51.4 volts for roughly 80% depth of discharge. This can be adjusted to a higher voltage if so desired. Under Battery Settings, you will want to set Battery Type to Custom and Charge Cycle to Two Stage, which effectively disables the float charge. SOC or state of charge control can be enabled if using a Schneider battery monitor or disabled if you want to use battery voltage as a means of triggering grid connect, auto gen start, and so on. The battery bank amp hour capacity should be calculated by multiplying the number of HAB batteries in the bank by 150 amp hours. In this case, we have just one HAB, so we'll leave it at 150. Maximum charge rate is shown as a percentage. For the 10 year warranty, the charge rate should be set to 50 amps per HAB, or 35% of 140 amps. For the 7.5 year warranty, the charge rate should be set to 120 amps, or 85% of 140 amps. This of course will depend on how many batteries there are in the bank and what warranty profile the customer chooses. Battery temperature can be left at warm. The temperature sensor should be disconnected and not used with the kilovolt batteries. Absorb time should be set to 2 minutes, or 120 seconds in this case. Equalization should be disabled. Bulk and absorb voltage should both be set to 56 volts. Battery temperature coefficient should be set to 0, again because we do not need temperature compensated charging for lithium iron phosphate batteries. The maximum discharge current can be set to 60 amps per HAB for the 10-year warranty or 150 amps per HAB for the 7.5 year warranty. Again, this will vary depending on the customer's wishes. Low battery cutout should be set to 48.2 volts and low battery cutout delay to 3 seconds. High battery cutout can be set to 58 volts and bulk termination voltage can be set to 55.2 volts. Press apply and your settings will be saved to the XW inverter and at that point you should be good to go. We hope you've enjoyed this video and encourage you to visit the kilovault.com website if you have any questions.